everybody so i'm here at the uh standing on the balcony of the aj and smart office and i want to do a quick video which i thought might be interesting to you guys which is the bad things about being an entrepreneur the bad things about running a company like this um so just to just to tell you from the very beginning i do love doing this i really really enjoy it and i'm not the kind of person who's going to be really good at working for anybody else so this is what i want to do however there are things i think it's really good to know um, before you go into it because while you're in it you might be experiencing these things and then it's good to know already beforehand and I guess it would be good if someone have told me this beforehand so number one is probably uh, money if you're starting your own business if you're starting your own thing money is at least the way I did it it uh, would have I would have made more money working for somebody else and every single person I talk to who is an entrepreneur has the exact same experience so if I had you know just kept working in these large corporations or kept freelancing or whatever my salary would have been like five years ago um, much much higher than five years ago when I was running AJ and Smart and a lot of the time uh, if the business is not going well then you even can't take salary so if you're not patient with the whole money thing um, you might actually end up giving up you know five six years into building a company because if you're comparing with your friends or comparing with people doing something similar to you you might actually be making less in the short term and that's important to understand before you go into it because there were definitely times where I was frustrated knowing how much my my colleagues um, and friends were making uh, compared to what I was making and I was like I'm building this business I'm working way harder and I'm making way less money um, so that was something that uh, I think it would have been good to to uh, have in have knowledge of upfront. Oh, it's nice and sunny here. Okay, so money, that's something really, really important to understand. If you're gonna work for yourself, if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, it could be that there are times where the financial security of the whole thing is not guaranteed and in the short term you might just be making less now long term i'm hoping that um there's sort of like this dip where you know i have a lot more financial freedom because i don't really have to work technically now that i have 20 people working here i don't really have to work anymore if I don't want to but that's another story that's kind of the financial freedom thing and it did take around seven years to get to this point okay another thing that um, kind of sucks or like could be surprising about being an entrepreneur even if you have a co-founder is that it's kind of I guess you could say if you're if you're at the top of the hierarchy it's a little bit lonely and you're not going to be able to um, confide your business problems in your you know talk to your employees about this kind of stuff so what you're going to have to do is you know find other founders to discuss things with and it is a, a pretty regular problem that founders and CEOs and all these people end up do they do feel pretty lonely because you are really the person who is the last step the person who really owns the business and it doesn't really matter what kind of relationship you have with your employees it is your company it is your responsibility and you alone are responsible for the the well-being of the entire company and like I said I have a co-founder it's still the same feeling right because you and your co-founder won't have the exact exact same mental state or the point in your lives etc etc so if you are someone if you're working at a company if you're working for someone else you're gonna have that camaraderie with your employees and it's gonna be like you can talk about ah, how shit everything is if you own the business uh, the only people you can talk to are other business owners related to that topic so keep that in mind what else managing people is something I personally don't enjoy that much um, if you run a company if you want to build something like this you will have to you know criticize people you'll have to fire people and all of this really really sucks and I'm sure if you're building a design company or a creative agency it's not something you're going to be naturally good at I would recommend reading the book radical candor by Kim Scott it's something I wish I had read a few years ago this is a great book on how to give really great feedback to employees but even reading that, it's something I personally really do not enjoy. I do not really enjoy managing. And that's something even today I, I don't enjoy. And it's something that people running companies are always extremely, extremely frustrated with. Okay, so I mean, I didn't make a list or something. So these are just the things off the top of my head. So if you're, you know, looking for short term money and you think you're going to get that from starting your own company, probably it's not for you. And yeah, so that's it. Let me know if that helped, uh, give it a like, uh, ask in the comments if you have any more questions and um, thank you so much.